Hi everyone. So this is the KX2 and I want to show you some battery options. Now on the back of the radio you move these thumb screws so that you can get access to your battery. Make sure you're careful in um, moving the plate because the speaker is connected to the radio. Uh, and this right here is your your tuner, uh, which you don't need, but if you do, it, that's, that's where it is. You have this plastic sleeve, which is very ingenious, that um, Elecraft did. Now what you can do is you can pull the sleeve and it unplugs the, the battery from the radio. And then there you go. Now, this battery is 11.1 volts, 2600 um, milliamps. And it provides um, excellent battery um, power if you're doing CW. If you're doing SSB, um, you know, 10 watts, it won't stay in 10 watts for a long time because the battery will drain eventually. Another thing also, this needs to be charged separately. This needs to be, you need to take it out of the, of the uh, rig and then charge it. Um, that's the only way to charge it. You can't charge it <clears throat> through USB or through another battery, which is something unfortunate, but uh, that's, what, that's how they've um, made this machine. So definitely you're gonna need uh, the charger for charging this battery. Okay, so to put this back, what I've noticed, the way I do it, is make sure you have your sleeve and that the sleeve is over this connection. Then you slide it in, connect it there. Now you have to have this sleeve here, or not have to, but it's recommended that you should because you should never pull on the wires and then you can put this back, tuck this in nicely. This is really hard to do sometimes. And then the cover, and you'll see that this wire here is tucked in there as well. Make sure you don't clip the wires or anything when you put this back, right? You don't see any wires coming out. It should, be tucked in really nicely and then you screw this on which works perfectly very nice turn it on you press the rate button the ab button and if we look at it and you click on the uh, mic button you can press down press down and hold uh, and you scroll, it gives you 10 watts. And you can use the display button here and then use the OFS dial to look at your um, voltage. This is how much it's taking from the battery, which is pretty good, uh, 0.15 amps or 150 milliamps. Now, let's turn this off. And what we can do is plug in the power through batteries, through an external battery. Let me find the cable here. So this is the cable that you receive from for the KX2, and you can plug this in here. This will, again will not charge the internal battery um, with a battery or with a power supply. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect. These are Anderson power poles. I'm going to connect these two, and now I have the power from an external battery, but a battery. This battery, the BioEno, is a lithium iron phosphate battery, which is 12 volts, 
3 amps. This goes up to 13.8 uh, volts or something, which is which is very useful. So, and I'll tell you why in a minute here. Let's turn this on. And uh, if, if you don't see the voltage, click on display. And let's look at the voltage. Voltage is 12.9 volts. So it has uh, more volts than the internal battery. And if you click and hold on the mic button for the wattage, it gives you two more watts which is not going to be a lot more in S units, but you do have that, you have a little more that uh, you can, you know, use and utilize. So I'm going to turn this off. And what I can do is I can plug this to an external power supply. And let's see what happens. So I have the external uh, power supply now, uh, no battery, and let's turn it on. And then if you click and hold on the mic button, it's going to give you 12 watts as before. And you can see it's automatically 13.5 volts. That's a constant uh, stream of power because it's plugged into the wall. So that's another um, power source that you can have. So you can be on the wall, but that one is a power supply that I have that I can use with my other radios. You can have a like uh, an external battery of a lithium iron phosphate, like a bioeno. You can use uh, the internal battery. Um, let's say you were in your car and you don't have no batteries, you can use your car battery to run this as well. You would need the uh, clamps and probably um, making sure uh, with, you know, to make sure everything's uh, uh, properly fused and, and such. But you could do that too, I've done that before. Okay, so I hope this provides you with some examples. If you have any questions, please ask. And I hope you are well, and um, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you later. This is Frank, KN6, BST.